Hi, good evening. So today, we're going to continue with our discussion. So bear with me because most of the most of the concepts that we're going to discuss is about business administration, of course, specifically strategic management. So organizational strategy is very important in cost accounting as well. As you know, um, cost accountants provide information to internal users and syempre, which, are, which are the managers. So usually these managers are working towards or implementing a strategy towards the achievement of the organizational goals. So the first step, of course, syempre, we have to develop a mission statement. Uh, all companies, all organization, be it profit or not profit, has their own mission and vision. So what is the difference between the two? These terms usually go hand in hand. No? So mission is the, the mission statement is the purpose of the organization. Yeah? So why do you exist? Diba? What is your use? Ano yung gamit mo? Diba? Para saan ka? That is the mission statement. Whereas the vision naman is basically your goal, your long-term goal. Where do you want to be, let's say, five years from now? That is the vision statement. Okay? And then, syempre, once you already have your mission and your vision, you should implement strategies. No? So, we'll discuss more of this later. Pero basically, and then, we, syempre, in order to... Uh, create value for customers and shareholders, we have to deploy resources and also recognize that each organization is unique. Thus, unique strategies must be developed. Okay? So, implement, in implementing strategy, kasi, syempre, we have to remember to establish appropriate measures of accomplishment and to develop, implement, and monitor necessary information system. So, what is a strategy ba? No? So basically, these are the steps you take to ensure that your goals, your mission, and your vision, diba? you serve your purpose, which is your mission, and then you achieve your goals, which is your vision, which are your vision for the company. So basically, strategies are formulated and implemented para ma-achieve natin yung mission and vision of the organization. Now, in implementing strategy, hindi lang enough, in formulating and implementing strategy, hindi lang enough na magawa mo siya, diba? So, dapat, whenever you, uh, dapat, whenever you, uh, whenever you plan, diba, on implementing a strategy, you should establish appropriate measures of accomplishment. So, for example, ano bang gusto mong ma-achieve, no? So, you, personally, diba? Uh, your mission, syempre, your mission, uh, your goal, for example, goal na lang. Your goal is to graduate uh, summa cum laude, for example, summa cum laude. So, um, syempre, you have to implement strategy for that, diba? Para ma-achieve mo yun, kasi first year ka pa lang, so medyo long run. That is your vision for yourself, kumbaga. So, ano yung mga strategies mo? So, strategies, number one, nag-aaral ka five hours a day, di ba? So, five hours, di ba? So, that is, uh, that is an appropriate measure of accomplishment. So, ibig sabihin, if nakagaw, nagagawa mo or every day tinatiming, timer ka, da dapat five hours ka nag-aaral every day or more, di ba? That is a measure of accomplishment. Diba? So, pwede rin na, kunwari, in terms of grades naman. So, kunwari, ang sabi mo, I don't want a grade lower than 1.5. Uh, pero kung suma kong laude, dapat 1.25 yan eh. So, I don't want a grade lower than 1.25. So, ganun ang goal mo ngayon. So, at the end of each year, diba, uh, at the end of each term, rather, uh, paglabas ng grade sa portal ninyo, malalaman nyo agad kung, na-implement mo ba ng tama yung strategy mo para maging suma kong laude ka once you graduate. So, ayan siya. Okay? So, we have these five factors in organizational strategy. Number one, number, ones, number one, we have core competencies, organizational structure, management style, and organizational culture, organizational constraints, and of course, environmental constraints. So, we'll, we'll discuss uh, core competency first. So, core competency, basically, to define core, core competency, simple lang naman yan eh. Um, what is your advantage? Diba? What is your advantage? Or what are you doing that gives you the uh, greatest advan advantage against your competitor? So, 
Technically, the definition of a core competency is a critical function or activity providing a competitive advantage. No, so that is your core competency. So ngayon, um, based on your core competency, mayroon tayong dalawang strategy usually na ini-implement. So, ano ba yung mga core competencies? So, for example, you have a very good research and development. Diba? So, ikaw yung laging nag introduce ng mga, ng mga bagong features when it comes to smartphones. Diba? O kaya naman, another core competency is what? You can produce the highest quality product at the lowest possible price. So, that is also a core, core competency. So, upon identifying your core competency, you can either... You can either implement a cost leadership strategy or a product differentiation strategy. So, what is the difference between the two? When it comes, when it, when we say cost leadership strategy, it means na pababaan ng presyo, de ba? Pababaan ng presyo ibig sabihin yan. Meaning, um, mababa yung presyo mo, mababa yung margins, pero magkakatalo talo niyan sa volume, volume of sales, no? So, an example of a company implementing a cost leadership strategy, so, siguro for SOAP, na, nabanggit ko na ito sa mga klase na na-discuss ko itong slides na to. Um, Do you know SURF? Diba? Yung SURF kasi, during the 90s, it is a relatively new SOAP, diba? laundry detergent. Ang laundry detergent talaga dati, ano yan, uh, Tide, yon. So, syempre, kahit na Ariel, wala pa nun eh. So, ang nangyari nun, Diba? Ang Tide kasi, maganda naman talaga siyang gamitin in fairness. Kaya lang, medyo mahal. So, what what Surf do, specifically Unilever, kasi yung Surf is under Unilever naman talaga. What they what they did was, um, they they uh, they cut the prices para maging mura siya, maging affordable. And then, at the same time, they also, they also, um, the advertisements, diba? The advertisements that they made for Surf Diba? Depicts a simple housewife, diba? Kasi nga, simple lang siya. Yung asawa niya lang nagtatrabaho. So, medyo short sila na onte Pero, they they can still afford to have white clothes, diba? Kasi nga, surf yung ginagamit. So, that is a very good example of a cost leadership strategy. What else? So, siguro sa cell phones, siguro ang magandang example nito, yung mga, hmm, let's say, Vivo mga ganun, diba? Siyempre, medyo mahal din yung mga phones nila. Mid-range phones yun eh. Pero just the same, kasi nga, as compared to the premium brands such as iPhone and Samsung, diba? This, this, uh, this brand has a lower price naman. So, what, what customers do that, uh, actually, hindi pala yun, no? aside from Vivo, Vivo, you know me, yung MI, that is a Chinese brand na ang dami-dami nilang products, iba-iba, may TV, may cellphone, may tablet. They also have CCTV camera, even yung antaw doon, yung scooter, mga ganun-ganun, yung, basta yung sinasakyan, yung trolley yata, yon. Ay, hindi pala, ha, ano pala, ewan ko, anyway, basta yung trolley na parang electronic, meron din siyang ganun eh, diba? So, anong, nangy- anong ginagawa nila? Um, Basically, what they do is they sell their products at a lower price. Diba? So, kami dito sa bahay, we have a CCTV. May CCTV kami, me, yung tatak niya. So, yung sa CCTV namin, pakita ko sa inyo. Sa CCTV namin, it's very simple looking. Very simple looking siya, pero uh, mura lang. Uh, 2,000 lang siya, pero it is very useful. Kasi, nasan ba yung app ko? This one. Ito. So, this is the shot from our CCTV. Nakikita nyo ba? Can you see it? So, ayan. So, ayan yung gate ng bahay namin. So, basta nakakonect siya sa Wi-Fi, very simple lang siya. Para lang siyang webcam, yung mga dating webcam. So, basta nakakonect siya sa app. Nakakonect siya sa Wi-Fi, rather. May app. Anywhere in the world, you can access or you can look at your house. And then, syempre, kapag ka meron kang meron kang Memory card. Marirecord niya. 24 hours yung nangyayari. Actually, another feature of this CCTV, tuwan-tuwa ako sa kanya, kasi pwede kang magsalita. So, parang may microphone siya that if you want to talk, kunwari, may papasok sa bahay mo. May, papa, may papasok sa bahay mo. 
pwede mong sitahin, nakita mo, hoy, sino ka? Pwede mong pindutin, maririnig niya. May speaker kasi siya eh. So, that is just one of the few products ng me na talagang very, very low yung prices, pero very functional. Diba? That is a that is a cost leadership strategy kasi magkano ang CCTV dati, ba? Diba? Actually, until now naman, yung mga high-tech talagang CCTV cameras, talagang medyo mahal, no? So, ayun. Next, we have product differentiation strategy. So, basically, kung cost leadership, pababaan ng presyo, basically, if you are in implementing a product differentiation strategy, what you do is that you portray, you portray your products as premium products and therefore, parang kinokondisyon mo yung isip ng mga tao na kahit na na kahit na mahal siya, okay lang na bilhin kasi your product is the best, di ba? Your product is the best. So, yun ang ginagawa natin. Number one company I can think of is Apple. Di ba? Siyempre, alam naman natin yan. Yung Apple, sorry sa mga iPhone users, pero sa ang iPhone kasi talaga, lagi silang huli. Lagi silang huli sa mga bagong features na nilalabas, as in. Tapos sobrang exclusive pa. I was an I was also an Apple user before pero nung simula nung S7 na S7 Edge parang nawalan ako ng gana I switch and I will never go back. Diba? So Android user na ako ngayon. So just the same, 'di ba? Sa Android naman andun din yung Samsung. Actually ang Samsung mix sila eh, may cost leadership, may product differentiation kasi marami silang cellphones. Unlike yung iPhone na talagang isa lang, iPhone XS Max, iPhone XR, dami-dami. Pero ang premyo, ang presyo po siya 80,000. Diba? Sa so, yung self, yung 80,000 ay makakabili ka na ng apat na Huawei mo o kaya apat na Vivo na cellphone. Na maganda na top of the line na, di ba? But still, people buy, sorry. People still buy the cellphone, iPhone kasi nga it is perceived to be a premium product. Diba? So, kumbaga, parang tayo, pag nakita tayo na may hawak ng iPhone, uy, naka-iPhone siya. Nandun pa rin kasi yung thinking na gano'n, uy, naka-iPhone sa social. Diba? Ganun po. So, that is the difference between cost leadership and product differentiation strategy. So, these are the strategy questions. You just uh, go over this one. Okay? Next, next thing to consider is the organizational structure. So basically, the organizational structure is the distribution of authority and responsibility in an organization. So, how do we define? Sorry, how do we define authority and responsibility? So, authority is the right to use resources to accomplish a task or achieve achieve an objective. Responsibility is the obligation to accomplish a task or achieve an objective. So, alam natin to, no? Once you are given a position, you have the authority to use resources so that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve, whatever your goals are. Pero, because you have the right to use the resources, you also have the responsibility na pag ginamit mo yung resources na yon, talagang magagawa mo yung goal mo or makukuha mo yung goal mo. Diba? So, we also need to differentiate between uh, line managers and staff employees. So, yung line managers natin are the ones who work directly toward attaining organizational goals. Okay? So, our line managers, of course, sa top management, we have our chief executive officer. Diba? Sila yon talaga. Okay? Now, for staff employees naman, we give assistance and advice to line managers. So, treasurers and controller are considered as staff employees. Okay? So, organizational constraints. So, alam natin to, no? Na, wala naman talagang, uh, what do you call this? Parang hindi naman talaga, hindi naman talaga, ano, uh, yung resources natin are limited. Diba? Most of the time, our resources are really limited. So, kung limited yung resources natin, diba, may constraints. So, what are the common constraints diba, na meron tayo? Number one is monetary capital. So, kulang yung capital mo. Yun. Next, we have intellectual capital. So, um, this is, usually, this is the problem of small companies. Diba? Since they cannot afford to pay 
high salaries, hindi nila nakukuha yung kailangan nilang mga tao. They cannot uh, attract the right people for the job. Of course, technology is also a constraint right now. Kasi nga, sa technology natin, syempre, um, there are other firms who can spend a lot of money in research and development. So, kung ikaw, wala ka namang resources to do that, o di mapag-iiwanan ka. Remember Nokia? Ewan ko kung buhay na kayo nun. But before, Nokia is the biggest cellphone manufacturer. Siguro every month, naglalabas sila ng ibang phone. Kaya lang, naiwanan sila eh. For some reason, they fail to innovate. They fail to innovate, diba? Ang unang cellphone, yung 5110, yung ganun siya kalaki, meron pa siyang antena, diba? Tapos lumiit, naging 3210, nawala yung antena. May mas maliit pa, 3310. Tapos after nun, ang dami nang sumunod na sumunod, as in. Diba? So, ganun lang nangyari doon. And then, syempre, lastly, we have environmental constraints. So, for the environmental constraints naman, syempre, we know that especially if we are, we are dealing with or if we are using natural resources, nauubos yan eh. So, hindi talaga pwedeng all out. Okay? So, next we have the value chain. So, the value chain is a set of value-adding functions and processes that converts inputs into products or services. So, our value chain starts with research and development product design, supply, production, marketing, distribution, all the way down to customer service. Okay? So, ito. This is very important. Diba? Sabi natin dyan, it is very important to communicate the strategy that you are implementing to all members of the value chain. Kasi mamaya, if they don't know your strategy, diba? Baka yung actions ng each member or each process in the value chain nag nagka-clash nagka-clash so dapat meron tayo din tawag natin goal kong congruence okay so this is a graphical representation no, of our value chain so um nakita natin that under all the processes diba the management and the accountants are there. Kasi nga, syempre, the management is responsible for the decision making. And the accountants naman provide information to line managers. Okay, so this is the balance scorecard. Medyo dadaanan na lang natin siya, no? So, we have four perspective kasi. Learning and growth perspective, internal business perspective, customer value perspective, and yung financial performance perspective natin. So, yung learning and growth natin, basically, is the use of the organization's intellectual capital to adapt to changing customer needs or to influence new customers' needs and expectations through product or service innovations. Internal business, diba? These are the things that we do well to meet customers' needs and expectations. And then, customer value is how, basically, is how well the organization is doing relative to to important customer criteria. And then lastly, yung financial naman natin is about profitability and organizational growth. So, pag financial, yun na nga, more on ano yan, no? stockholders, sila talaga yung tinitingnan yan. Yung customers, how are we perceived by the customers kung ang brand ba nila binavalue yung product natin and all. So, yung balance scorecard measures natin, we have short-term and long-term, internal and external, financial and non-financial. So,